this podcast is brought to you by. How do you do wow, this voice? Po- that was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. Watch this. You sound like Johnny, Johnny Depp. Oh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> With all the owls. The owls. That's a hot crocs. With all the whole crocs. Oh, all the whole crocs. That would be so funny to <laughs> Johnny Depp as Johnny Depp Potter. as Harry or as Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Despite the Patron. <laughs> You guys do not skip this ad. Please listen to what I have to say and to what Andy has to say. Guess what? Our new JFK Avenge Me t-shirts are live on sundaycoolswag.com. It's beautiful, they're super soft, and it's only $20. What are you waiting for? Yep, and it's a limited time run only. They're going fast. When I said that, it sounded weird coming out. Limited time only, baby. Limited time going baby. They're going to go fast. They're going to go fast, so get them now. Sell like hotcakes. Sundaycoolswag.com. Go! Bye! Um. Andy, your energy seems a little down. I know the perfect thing to fix that. Whoopoodoo, weepity, wop. <laughs> Are we recording the podcast? Right? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Hey. Ah, Let's don't go. Touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh. Mm. What up? Hey! Hey, hey everybody! Hey, Harry! Hey, Hermione! Hey, Ron! <laughs> Ron. <laughs> Dark Lord? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Welcome! Can you guys guess in the comments what we are? <laughs> the Beatles! The Beatles! <laughs> I'm Ringo. <laughs> 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 oh, um, we're here! Happy Halloween, happy everybody! Happy Halloween! Halloween. Isn't this fun? Isn't it crazy that it was one year ago since the ghost story? Yeah, it yeah, seems longer wow. than that, right? It does seem longer than that. Yeah. Oh, dude, my back does hurt though. <laughs> I don't know what's up. You got to tell them why. Oh, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. Um, me and Lily, our uh, neighborhood boys, came over to our house and they were playing in our backyard with Ada, and they wanted to race. And they're like, Josh, we want to race you. And so I raced them and I smoked them. Ha! In your face. <laughs> How old are they? They're seven and ten. Ha! <laughs> In your face. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Still smoked them. Uh, but then Lily wanted to race. And we literally, collectively, probably ran like six races, right? Yeah, for sure. And I smoked her every time. Hey. Oh! Let's give it up for Josh! The boy who lived. The boy who sprinted. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, I won. Oh, Say I'm so, fast. Okay, no, dude, Lily is very fast. You have to have a lightning mark. I know, dude. Just well, get a sharpie or something. I don't want a sharpie. It'll You're come clean. off. It'll, It'll come, come off. off. To- okay, can you grab a sharpie? Yeah. Over you there? have to do that. <laughs> Lily, Watch your, you, your Lil, headphones. Your headphones. Lily, can you do that? Can what? you mark them up? Yes. Why can't you do it? Uh, she might have a better angle. I could do it. I could easily do it. Why don't oh, you? I got, I got a sharpie. It. My bad. There's one right here next to Josh. It's his couch. Don't do obnoxious. Why don't you want me to do it? Is it is it down, down, down? Think a lightning bolt. Zing, zing, zing. No, lightning bolts no, are a little... It's like an S for Satan. Oh, my gosh. Let is that see. it? <laughs> that was great. Nice. <laughs> ah, there ah. he is. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming ah. for you. <laughs> He's in my head. He's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Voldemort's back. He's back. And I'm back, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I don't know. Lord Voldemort. Remember that? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Remember that one time (laughs) in that movie? Um, Now give me that stone in that pocket. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Would you like a song? Yes. All right. We can probably come up with something. I, I think we could probably... Conjure up Whoa. some type of magical Andrew what electric is guitar. What is that? What are you thinking? You, can you, you can't actually play an electric guitar, can you? <laughs> I don't know. Let's I mean, uh, prove it. Prove you can. 
Whoa. I mean, I can do that. It's not a big deal. Oh, my goodness. All right, boy. Oh, I'm enjoying it all. It's been that much One, two, three, four. It's been that much right up. Um... So, yeah, well, I guess we'll do a little rock and roll. I'm down for that. All right. Well. I'm in. All Woo. Right. All right, guys. Here we go. Welcome to the show. Is ninjas about to fly? Before you start, we know. Are you for a big surprise? Aliens speak to me. I hear them so clearly. They open their mouths. They say something to me. Pyramids are made of cheese, and so is the moon. That run so deep They linger in the air The secrets that you keep We'll expose it if we dare It was 1963 The year that this took place It what happened out there On the grassy you knoll know. Oh, Save your your face! face! CIA Killed JFK We will avenge you The CIA Killed JFK wasn't pretty but it was beautiful it was magical fun melody right so funny um scary <laughs> and unnerving to see voldemort see yeah rock and roll <laughs> it was kind of scary i am sweating it's so sweating hot. are you hot in that i feel yeah. pretty good except for Very. this area but then <laughs> down here i feel pretty good Not i got here, a lot of <laughs> here right here <sighs> yeah. um Ooh, i'm sweating welcome Welcome to the show. Welcome to Happy Halloween, everybody. Rock and roll. A Red Bull. Oh, yeah. Well, at 2 p.m. Energy, baby. I got it. It's from this morning. I haven't finished it. How oh. dare you? Um, I'm proud of that. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, I was happy Guys, with I, th- that. I thought it was amazing. It's okay. We only practiced it for like five hours. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. We didn't. Maybe like an hour collectively. Probably 15. Tops. Hours? 15 hours. Probably oh, yeah, tops. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, but everyone be quiet, please. Because I have a question. This question has come in from a viewer. Today's question, sent in by a viewer, is Harry Potter overrated? <gasps> oh, uh, say yes. That's dumb. That's Voldemort's voice. Well, I would say yes. That's I would say yes. I would say yes. Uh, I would say yes. I would uh, say. What do you say? It's perfectly rated. Mm. Andrew? I don't know. Mm. I think it's a little nerdy. Hey. I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't watch it ever. Yeah, you wouldn't watch it? Psych. Harry Potter's not overrated. It's perfectly rated. Just a smidge. I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hear it first. It's both underrated and overrated. Welcome to the show. What? Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful creations. Has empty your mind? You were martial arts. Fuck ninja. Dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't discuss that we are going to trap her. No. We didn't. <laughs> but to focus on this and that and this. And all this. Hey, but we look. it looks great. Yeah, it, it looks does. great. We need some bubbly. It's spooky. Yeah. Spooky, spooky. Add in some. Um... Bro, that <laughs> that's pretty brutal to pick up. 
don't know. This is cool. Yeah. We got some bubbly. Happy Halloween, everyone. Ooh. Ooh. We've, all, we've already had a laptop fall and a camera fall in the past 30 minutes. Yep. Ghost. It's probably God showing us that Harry Potter is, in fact, evil, and we shouldn't watch it. You think? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I do want to say this before we get started. We had a lot of comments <laughs> on our last podcast about us drinking liquid death. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're like, okay, oh, yeah, everyone chill out. It's right. like, oh, it's made by witches and there's demons in the cans. And they're like, what the? What are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> um, but you sound then, like my, my whatever. My Gammy <laughs> 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 probably has sent me an article about liquid death at some point. Yeah. Um, but I did look up on YouTube. Um, I just typed in liquid death witch. <laughs> And they did put out a video where they had a real witch, apparently. Spooky. Um, saying that she's, Certified. she's putting demons inside of the cans, which it was a joke. Yeah, it's a little too but if it, it But it's, if it's a joke, then why do you hire a real person? Yeah, they like hired <laughs> yeah, a real was it like yeah, an just actor. Just have your marketing yeah. agent. Yeah, yeah just hire, um, like, hire a beat, like a C-list actor to say, yeah, this is, I, I'm, a, I'm a witch now. Yeah, so uh, sorry, we did not know about <laughs> liquid death being made. Or spoken curses over it and putting demons in it. And is thank this, you for telling us. Thank you for telling us. And is, we probably won't be drinking it ever again. Is this our first um, apology video? Yes. Oh, man. Should we, I cry? Guys, but it's not our fault. Listen. It wasn't, our, it wasn't my fault. Listen, I'm going to apologize, but I'm not going to take any responsibility. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Liquid Death. No more on the show. Sorry, Liquid Death. It, uh, Just a little weird for obliviate. us. <laughs> obliviate. Hey, hey, but can somebody that's a, a Christian put out a really good seltzer brand? Yeah, we wanted to make our own called the Living Water. <laughs> or was it, no, Liquid liquid, liquid Life. Oh, mm. yeah. Yeah. It's not very creative, but we can we think of something. We workshop something better. It's Liquid Death, Liquid Life. I know, but it's just a little too easy. It's just, just the opposite. You just did the op. You kept half of theirs. It would be just easier. It would be easy to market because you would be a direct competitor with Liquid Death. Yeah, it's really hard for me to say liquid today. Well, you sound like Lic- Slughorn when he says <laughs> liquid luck. <laughs> <laughs> liquid luck. <Okay>. Harry, <laughs> choose wisely, Harry. Liquid what's your fa- What's your favorite um, curse from Harry Potter? Hey, we're not speaking curses on this show. Oh, uh-huh. but what is yours? Like it's good. They've picked the funniest names. For yeah. everything, um, mm. uh, I don't know. I like the um, what's the ones you remember? Oculus Reparo. <laughs> That's what I remember. <laughs> I'll need to remember that one. Oh, what you doing? I don't know. <laughs> this is in my ear. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what. Josh, you really like that hair, right? You really the best. Like that hair on the Josh really told me cool. he said, "I'm really glad you don't have that haircut." That's what he said before we started filming. All those little out girls. of your mouth. Yeah, and I stand by it. <laughs> All those little girls with Hermione haircuts at home. No, Aww. how dare you? Stop! What are you doing? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen, that you have like two Walmart daughters. When you laughed like that. <laughs> um. Scary. Stop. Andy. But speaking of your favorite. Um, <laughs> Speaking of your favorite spells in Hermione hair, have you heard of the Russian scientist who injected himself with a uh, 3.5 million year old bacteria? No. Nightmare? For fun? On a dare? For science? For science. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. What happened to it's him? Crazy. I would do that for a dare, though. <laughs> so. <laughs> be great for the pod, Andy. Come on. Uh, so this, how old was the virus? He says 3.5 million, but yeah. here's how it goes. So this Russian scientist named Dr. Anatoly Brokstok. I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> Brouch, Brouchkov. Yeah. Brouchkov. Yeah. Um, he was in the tundra. Are you guys laughing because I tried to pronounce it and it sounded like something else? <laughs> yeah. I didn't laugh. I wasn't laughing at all. I was listening. What are you talking about? Get out of here, guys. I didn't Why? hear a thing. I'm never on camera. I can make whatever faces. I um. Want. Anyways. Yeah. He was there digging in the um, permafrost in the tundra. Yeah. Yes. And in Siberia. And they discovered this bacteria that was so far down in the permafrost, oh, no. it like went past like the woolly mammoths that they're <gasps> finding. And so he's like, 
this has to be 3.5 million years old, which mm-hmm. I'm like, that's a really random number to come up with, yeah. but whatever. But it's old. gotta yeah. be. But guess what? This bacteria was still living. Oh, no. Yes. Spray some uh, it was still Lysol alive? on it. The bacteria was still alive. So it thrives in the cold. It can't be killed. It's And so they ran a bunch of tests, and they're calling it right now the uh, Bacillus F bacteria. Okay. Not a very catchy name. Also right? sounds like a Harry Potter thing. Bacillus. Yeah. yeah. It's a basilisk. Very bubbly. Um, but yeah, so where am I? There's there's just so much happening right now. It's like I'm just <laughs> overstimulated. <yeah. laughs> um, I like him avoid looking at Andy. But they tested this bacteria on mice, <laughs> on plants, and the mice and plants lived way longer and it said that the mice could even reproduce into very old ages. And the crops oh, wow. thrive, like they didn't die as fast when it was cold outside. And so... All being infected by this virus. They No, it was a um, bacteria. The bacteria, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, so they're, sorry, they're yeah. testing it on certain the bacteria, things. yeah. Did that just pop? I think was so. That, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, it was it was too much spooky happening. Spooky stuff is happening in this office. Too <laughs> much happening. Um, but they're calling it the elixir of life. They're saying that this thing could contribute to people, animals, and plants all living longer than they should. Yeah. Oh, man. In fact, there's a town pretty close to where they found this bacteria, and the people of this town in Siberia live like way longer than <gasps> cool, all the cool. other people in the regions. Wow. Cool. Um, and so he was basically like, "Well, I want to try it on myself." Oh. Yeah. And so it was. Uh, he did it in 2009, I believe. He injected himself with it. He's still alive. Still alive. How old is he? Um, I don't. I'm not. I don't know. Uh, where where to say? No, I didn't write that down. Wow. But he said he's like, we're just gonna try it. He's like, because he literally says we don't really know how aspirin works. <laughs> so like, let's just try this. How aspirin works? Yeah. <laughs> What he's do a, you mean you don't, don't know, know how aspirin works? Right? He's a doctor. You think I mean, he would how does aspirin work? You hurt all over all of your body. You, like your foot hurts. You take a pill and your foot doesn't hurt. How does it know where to go? How, <laughs> I don't how understand. is that the reasoning? That's. I'm, I'm just saying that's what he said. And I inject myself with this million-year-old bacteria mm-hmm. because I also don't know how aspirin works? He was just joking around. Because plants live longer. <laughs> because he, the plants he had live longer. He said, longer. quote, I was just curious. Yeah. Right. I mean, if you're a scientist and you're if you're willing to die for your research, then that's a good way to go. So he did that Golly. in 2009, I believe. Okay. And then he was interviewed again in 2015, and he said he hadn't had a cold or flu in two years since wow. injecting himself. Um, so I guess he, no, he found it in 2009. Okay. And so 15. Yeah. 13. 13. 2013 injected it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he also said he's having higher levels of energy. He is um, doesn't ha- need to sleep as much and still have a lot of energy. But he also said it could just be placebo. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So yeah. he's like, I don't know. It's gazebo. Oh, it could just be gazebo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How does uh, a bacteria exist like that? Like, how does that come to be? I don't know. But it, it got me thinking, like in the Bible times, how they lived like to like 900. Yeah. Like oh, Methuselah. Live to like what, like nine hundred sixty something? Yeah, I thought it was like nine hundred ninety something, something like that. Yeah, yeah. but um, nuts. Are you wonder if like that is like a? Could you imagine bacteria from like Dude. the first days wow. of creation? That's what made people live so long. You taking that bacteria? If that's the case, no. Do you live longer, or is it just I, I slowed? Think, I think it just helps with your all around health to make yeah. you live longer. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I would take it. Maybe it could help me no. not pee so much. I would do it in a little shaker rattler, rattler bottle, but I would just <laughs> yeah. be really obnoxious about it the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Living forever. <laughs> Immortality. <laughs> Immortality. So I thought that was crazy. That is wild. Bacteria. But speaking of woolly mammoths, you know we're going to have woolly mammoths next year, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that quick? Next year. It's yeah. going to be wild. It's nuts. And it's not going to be like a species that is literally wool- woolly mammoth. It's going to be wild. It's insane. That bubbling I, is I can, nuts. I can hear that. Can you hear me? Wow. Because you can't even see it at this point. Just put it on the table. It's okay. There's just a bunch of electrical outlets behind it. <laughs> <laughs> it's frozen. 
Andy, you're taking. Andy! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so All for right. everyone, All for right. everyone who's listening, we we have a bowl of dry ice. We're trying to move, and there's so much stuff tied to it. Halloween decorations. What? Lava lamp almost <laughs> fell over into the dry ice bowl. What's bu- what's bubbling about it? It's bubbling. It's champagne. I guess you know, I'll just no. It's dry ice and water. That's all it does. Yeah, I guess it bubbles like it. that. Yeah, naturally. Yeah, naturally, naturally, naturally. Um, yes, naturally. Ah, yes, naturally. Ding, <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang. This looks so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's irresponsible in as a scientist you should not be allowed to just willy nilly inject yourself with stuff because what if you start the zombie apocalypse? Yeah, but if he's not going to do it, someone else will. Yeah, it's going to be some teenager, some rug rat in Switzerland or something. Yeah, you know? think about the per- first person to take aspirin. They didn't know how it worked. Does he mean that we don't know the long-term effects of aspirin because maybe it was introduced? Like I don't know. I'm, ju- I'm just ago. reading what hey, he said. It's unnerving he, to me. He, he made a joke, and he's not a comedian, and he just it just didn't land. He's like, I don't even know how aspirin works. Yeah. And everybody's like, and no one laughs. What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I've been going to you for 30 years. <laughs> Wait a minute. You put me on aspirin. <laughs> Sir, we funded your research for the past 10 years. We've given you millions of dollars. You don't know how aspirin works? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Um, I do want to point out something that was happening the other night when our friends, the Tanners, came over. Uh-huh. Um, there was four kids there, right? Our two daughters and then their two kids. And I look over at Jane, and we had pizza that night, and we mm-hmm. just gave Jane a full slice of pizza. She's eating it from oh, yeah. the crust to the tip. <laughs> I'm like... Backwards. I'm like, what a weirdo. Yeah. And then I look over at the Tanners' youngest kid doing the same thing. No way. Who did it first? Listen, they Man. didn't even see each other. Then we go inside. Ada and Koa are doing the exact same thing. <laughs> I'm like, Nuh-uh. what's happening? What? <laughs> we is it, is we this like part of the evolutionary process? They, they, they have a new batch. Did you not hear that? Every like they started in 2020. They have like every kid that's gonna be afterwards. They have there's some glitches they have to work out. Oh, yeah, they yeah. they give a shot in the hospital. Mm. Later, yeah. we gave her a piece too, like that evening, and she did the same thing again. She that's wild. Around. Yeah. Do you have stuffed crust? No. no. Whoa. See, then there's no reason to do that. <laughs> That's what I'm ever. saying. That's crazy. <laughs> it kind of. So everyone, all the parents watching this, give your kids a slice of pizza, little kids. With no s- direction. With no direction and see how they eat it. Yeah. Yeah. That's we're talking wild. Like, we're talking like three and under. Yeah. That is so this is funny. A, this is a case study. Yeah. For <laughs> real. I'm going to inject myself with pizza just for this experiment. <laughs> yeah. Um. So Halloween, right? Yeah. Crazy. Spooky. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. We probably talked about it before. I'm scared. But. Um, I was never able to do like trick or treating and stuff like that. Yeah. On, uh, we just, I just wasn't allowed. When, yeah. was, when was the first time? I think we asked you this last time, but first time I went trick or treating. Yeah. High school. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was middle school. Maybe middle school. Yeah. Either way, it's like you're kind of like at the end of it. He's like, yeah. Like, should I just let this go? Yeah. <laughs> Give it one. Try. I was stoked. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. What were you for the first time? A hobo. Yeah, that's right. We talked. We literally on the last yeah. Halloween episode we talked okay. about this. Do you remember the last time that you went trick or treating? Like how you felt, just kind of like oh, this is questionable. I shouldn't I, like I'm honestly, too old. Yeah, I think I quit. Pretty it was the early first time on. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen years old. Yeah, yeah, I really just turned in my should college application. I should be done with this. <laughs> it's like pull up to their driveway in your car and like get out <laughs> trick or treat. <laughs> Off your, you still in job uniform. <laughs> Dude, I'm sweating so it's much. Bad. Is it really that hot for you guys? Yeah. I'm not hot. Bad. Don't don't take it off. I'm not taking it off. I'm just no. Air, air oh, <laughs> Harry, no! <laughs> Where'd you get that shirt? <laughs> On our rack. Oh, it's one of our multiple dress shirts that we've bought. <laughs> yeah, whose um, who shirt was this? Uh, either mine or Andy's. Cause I barely fit in it. Well, we both used to be skinnier than we are now. <laughs> I'm like. Lord Volda, more food, please. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I'm trying to think of a fat joke for Voldemort. I don't know. Lord Volda, Lord Fatimore. The the dark the dark lord. The dark Eating. lard. <laughs> dark lard. <laughs> <laughs> That's it right there. I present you uh, the dark lard. <laughs> I am the dark lord. <laughs> Give me that donut. I remember that uh, when I posted that picture of me when I dressed up as Heisenberg. 
I posted it on uh, Reddit, and the top comment was Heisenberger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, speaking of burgers, did you know? Actually, no, I want to save this one. What? I want to save it for after the ad. Oh, okay, got it. But speaking of burgers. Speaking of burgers. <laughs> did you ever hear of that psychic who predicted uh, Russia building a submarine? What do you mean? This guy, this happened on the, um, what's it, is it the Sean Ryan show? Is that what I said before? I don't know. You know I love that about? show though. Sean Ryan? Yeah, I think so. The, he's like ex-military. Yes. Yeah, I think so. I think oh, it's like what it is. this. Yeah. 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 Um, he had a guy on and he was telling this story to where I've seen, there's a documentary out there. I think it's actually on Netflix or it's all on YouTube. I forget. But for a while, the CIA, um, they literally had psychics on staff. It was super weird. What? Yeah. And when was this? The submarine thing? Yeah. When did, when did this happen? No, well, then when did they have well, psychics? The, the, oh, yeah, the psychics. Uh, recently. Really? I mean, like, in the our, our not our lifetime, but, like, um, probably 50 years ago, maybe? Okay, yeah. Um, but this guy is a current guy. Uh-huh. And um, so what happened was they showed they, the U.S. intelligence, they collected this uh, satellite footage of this really strange giant building that they were building in this remote part of Russia. And they brought it to this guy and they said, or before that, they're like, it, what, how did it go? They like gave him the coordinates. Like, can you like get anything from that? Yeah. And he's like, I see that they're like building something big mm -hmm. and they're like, okay. And then they gave him the picture. Like, that's what they're building. Do you know what it's for? And like, you did this whole little weird thing, you know? And was like, they're building a submarine in it. And they're like, okay. They're like, can you describe it? And he said, it will be the biggest submarine ever created. Oh my gosh. And they're like, um, and he described every and little there's part no, of it. There's no way that this dude knew. They didn't know. Like That's crazy. There's no way he could have known because yeah. it was so yeah, top, top secret. Yeah, top whatever, secret. Like whatever. Confidential. Um, and so they wrote out the full report and they gave it to like the defense uh, secretary, whatever, the guy's like, a psychic wrote this stuff down? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, and he wrote up at the top, what do you say? He's like, um, crazy talk or something like, mm -hmm. or you're a lunatic. And like gave it back to him. And then he's like, well, especially because the sum, if it's a submarine, they're, they're not anywhere near an ocean or a river or anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then it came out. They did new satellite photos. They dug a new river. <gasps> And it was, in fact, no. a new submarine that Russia had made. They said it was two football fields long. Oh, my the gosh. The biggest submarine ever created. That's nuts. And the guy wrote back. He's like, who's the lunatic now? And like, get <laughs> back to him. Oh, wow, dude. And that just, I'm just like, what? Yeah, I don't get that, man. I don't get that. Because I've seen that all the time. You see people that claim to be psychics. Have you ever seen that news reporter? That sits down with one of the oh, psychics and yeah, stuff, yeah. like you know, like hey, you know, what's this? You know, the, who's this picture of this? You know, this young girl and she was like gone, missing or something yeah. like that. She's like she's missing, she's gone, she's she's stuck, she's dead or whatever like that. And it's like that was me as a kid. I'm talking to you right now. I'm a full grown woman. <laughs> and so it's like so. Ever I don't I'm yeah. Like, I can't trust psychics, but like no. that's such a it's a. But the fact that he was it was top secret government. The CIA yeah. used to have psychics working for him. Yeah. And it's the odds a, that they build a river and everything like that, like yeah. so, it's not. Yeah, that's, that's we know. Wild. We know from the Bible that psychics are real, but that. Yeah, I just wonder. They're warned against. Yeah, to have that black black magic kind of stuff. They do that with a lot with the um. They talk about it with the um. Was it the Mantucket project? Yeah. Yeah. Mantucket. Mantucket project. Nan. Nan. Mm -hmm. Nan. No, I think it's man. No, Nan. it's Nantucket. No, Nantucket's yeah. a place. Right. Montauk. Montauk. Nantuck, Montauk. <laughs> <laughs> so you both were wrong. You, you were, were right also either. Wrong. I was close. You made up a word. No, <laughs> no. Man, tuck it. Montauk. Montauk. <laughs> yeah, you made up a word. <laughs> you literally. You said man, tuck it. We just okay. corrected you. Well, you're saying no. It's nan, tuck it. So <laughs> yeah. how are, you were also wrong. <laughs> yeah, but you guys were equally as wrong. Wrongo. You started right the conversation. <laughs> Take it back. Um, Expelliarmus. <laughs> Wait, let's try that. Full, full of the Kit Kat. Expelliarmus. It's not Wait, almond joy. Hold up your wand. Expelliarmus. <laughs> supposed to fly. Oh, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Do it again. I forgot. Expelliarmus. <laughs> nice. 
Um, Mamtuck. Mamtuck? <laughs> Montuck. Montuck. <laughs> Mantuck? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Golly. But supposedly they used to have like kids that like they would like recruit kids that were like had like psychic abilities, but like would basically like stretch their brain so far with these like experiments that a lot of these kids just ended up dead or they grew up just in like the crazy half the crazy homes. This happened in America? Yeah, it was a, yeah. Lo- a lot of Stranger Things is based on the report of one of the kids who says, I think he says he was hypnotized and that's how he forgot yeah. everything and then Jeez. stuff came back to him and he wrote it all down. Dude, yeah. I, that's probably a part of MK Ultra too. In probably a way. There's got to yeah, be some I mean, type I'm sure of there's like overlap stuff. definitely. Yeah. Golly, that's scary, dude. Yeah. That's so messed up. Mm-hmm. Makes me sad about kids. But did they get superpowers? The kids? Yeah. Probably. None of them? Yeah, they did. That, that's where Wolverine was born. <laughs> where who was born? Wolverine. Wolverine. <laughs> in Mantucket. Yeah, in Mantucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. So there's my summary <laughs> story. Yeah, you also said Mantuck. <laughs> Listen. Second time. Listen. Enough. Enough. Enough, please. I'm bleeding out here. It's like it's it's starting to become like a habit now. Yeah. To everyone, let's pick on Josh. Oh, stop hey. it. Don't even. Don't even. What? Play the victim, be the victim. Listen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What he said. I don't want to do this show anymore. So what are you gonna Good do point, now? Ron. Josh. You want to quit? My you brother. Quit? Yeah. Let's quit right now. Let, what do you have to say? Evaporate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that a thing? Transformo. <laughs> oh, hold <no. laughs> Andy. I didn't mean to say that. No, we're going. Uh, get a quick pause and real quick. <laughs> I don't think I ever want to create my own wand curses anymore. <laughs> no more for me. No more spells. Oh. This gets me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, oh good times. Yeah, good times, right? Um, the metric system. I want to talk about this real quick. Okay. Our last episode? No, two episodes ago. Yeah. We uh, talking about Celsius and Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit and stuff, <laughs> and um. Is that the metric system? Celsius. Is it separate? Yeah. Than the metric system? No. Centimeter centigrade. Celsius is part of the metric system. Proceed. It's all, all form. All form. <laughs> 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 that got me. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I thought it was, I thought the conversation was hilarious. And so you chopped up the reel we posted yeah. on social Bro, the amount of people that are like, yeah. you guys are idiots, <laughs> which we said they were probably going to say that. Yeah. But. It still hurts. I'm just like, not not that it hurts. No, I don't it's care. It's just like, we weren't taught it. <laughs> we were never taught it. Yeah. And I said, what, what was one of my, I wanted to say like, uh, one guy's like, oh, this is like, what do you say? Like, you guys are idiots. Like, Somebody, I, yeah. something like I, I like your show, but this is making me question whether to watch it. I said, listen, were you taught Chinese in school? No. Mandarin? No. No? Can you no. speak it? No? <laughs> well, we weren't taught the metric system. I was taught Spanish for two years. Yeah. And I still don't know Spanish. Yeah. One okay. guy One guy said, I thought it was in Spanish. He said, and I translated it, which it translated in Spanish, which this is now I'm questioning things. Yeah. <laughs> but it basically said the U.S. education system for you. And I responded in Spanish, and I said, uh, they didn't teach us the metric system, but they taught us Spanish. And, <laughs> then, and then he responded with, um, in Portuguese. So I think he's trying to throw me off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so many people were like, it's common sense. And it's like, there's nothing common sense about being taught something. Yeah. It's not an intelligence thing. No, it's no. a knowledge thing. No, the, 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 knowledge. the difference between Fahrenheit and Celsius is not a common thing that is no. taught. At but all. even someone from Canada was like, I hate watching American TV because all the stuff's in Fahrenheit and I don't understand it. Yeah. I'm like, boom, boom. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. But, but also, like, really? 
that's what's going to hold you up from watching our TV. You have to know the exact temperature in which the characters are existing in. I just can't serious? do it. If I'm not, cl- um, you know, climately involved, I just can't get into the show. <laughs> um, but then one person said, it's just logical. It's It makes more logic to use Celsius over Fahrenheit. I said, says the non-American. And he laughed. He said, yeah, I'm actually from Holland. <laughs> like, <laughs> True that, dude. Gotcha. Checkmate. <laughs> but also, yeah. it's like, yeah. It's, it's like, logic can, for us. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When you say it's 50 degrees out, you know what it's going to feel like. It's not our fault we live in this bubble. Yeah. And you're all this Fahrenheit bubble. So it yeah. doesn't make us dumb. No. No, we're still dumb. <laughs> but hey. not because of that. <laughs> but we are one of three countries. Us, I think Liberia, right? Mm-hmm. And then what was the other one? Mantucket. Uh, no, there's more than three <laughs> countries. There's more Stop. than three countries. <laughs> uh, Myanmar. Myanmar. Mm-hmm. Fun. Who? Myanmar. It's a country by India. My uncle Mar. <laughs> um, but yeah. So. Yeah. But then it's also funny. We need to comment on the fact that um, there were so many different explanations. People were like, you guys are so dumb. Oh, the, yeah. It's people were. This. I mean, and they were like, math consistent. equations. Yeah, everything was off. <laughs> so it was like, we're all in the same boat. We're all. You guys feel like yeah. we're on the wrong side, of, but we're all in the same boat. Someone said the easiest way they like did uh, one degree Celsius like going up a degree Celsius is equivalent to, they said like 3.3 or something like that mm-hmm. degrees Fahrenheit. I said, thank you. That's the first straight answer I've had. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone kind of was like, that's actually wrong. It's this. <laughs> and I said, you could have told me that one degree Celsius equals pizza. And I would have said, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Cause I don't know. <laughs> and Hey, guess what? What's more important? We don't care. <laughs> yes. If it's cold, it's cold. If it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> we don't care. Hey, this is America, baby. Hey, I, I talk how I want. Hey, man, if you stick your finger in a pool and you go, burr, it's cold. I don't care about no Fahrenheit Celsius. You go outside, you get skin cancer, it's too hot. Too hot. That's one way to say it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Just say sunburnt. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> I'll just think it long term. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Who are these characters we're doing? I don't know. <laughs> It's a funny scene, Voldemort doing a southern accent. Yeah, it is kind yeah, of All right, that's cool. I expect no Patronum. I expect no Patronum, dude. <laughs> All right, man. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Come to die. All right, let's go, man. <laughs> How dare you stay there when he stood? <laughs> All right. <laughs> he was their friend, yeah. man. <laughs> he was their friend! You got to do it in the country accent. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Try sure it. Can. No, I won't. You have to. I wish I didn't. It's Halloween. I won't. Shania Twain, here we go. She's actually from Canada. Oh, she is. I forgot about that. Celsius. Celsius. Yeah. Ruined it for me. (laughs) Guess I I have to stop listening to her stuff now. (laughs) She was just getting popular. (laughs) Uh, Some would say the metric system put her on the map. Uh, A lot of people have actually said that. (laughs) Yeah. Um, But speaking of Shania Twain. Really? We got to go anywhere. Ooh, what what's happening? I'm, st- I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Well, you shouldn't be because we have the coolest new shirt in all of history. Wait, 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 wait. What? We have our new <laughs> JFK Avenge Me t-shirt now available on SundayCoolSwag.com. Go get it. Listen, it's only $15. It's, it's $20. It's only twenty dollars. That's incredible. I can't believe that, guys. Go to SundayCoolSwag.com and go get your brand new Avenge Me T-shirt. That's right. Go get it now. SundayCoolSwag.com. That's an easy cut. That's an easy cut. I, I think we should leave it. That was funny. That is funny though. For I have sworn before you, I will avenge you. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's like, he like. How? So loosely, it's the most powerful one in the world. He's just barely holding on by a thread. <laughs> Look at that play. It's really good. <laughs> so much. I'm um, trying to figure out where would be the funniest place just to walk in. He, he said, if I took the bike home, I'm just <laughs> zooming on the bike. <laughs> Please. Oh, uh, so wasn't, wasn't that ad fun? It was fun. I had a good time with it. Yep. Do you guys got any spooky stories? I have so I have a lot of fun stuff. I have like just, I have I got some I got uh, some stuff. You need to talk about the difference between Harry Potter characters and their technology. But before we get into spooky stories, <gasps> oh. mm, 
Question Corners, Question Corners, Question Corners with Lily. Where the questions are fresh on her mind. Okay, this is a different question because Josh came up with it, actually. But it's so genius. So kudos to Josh. Thank you. In Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and in 7 Part 1 and 7 Part 2, we see the introduction, not really because it happens also earlier in the series, but of Horcruxes, which are the objects that keep Voldemort alive even when he has been slain. His body, a part of his soul, lives on in these objects because he commits a heinous act. Mm. We yes. see it in examples of Tom Riddle's diary. Yes. We see the cup that was in Bellatrix's safe. Mm. The locket. The ring. The snake and Voldemort him, or Harry. Harry himself. Spoiler alert. There's another thing, isn't there? We always forget the other thing. Is it the, the crown? Did you do that? Nope. The diadem. The diadem. Duh. The diadem. <laughs> Duh, it's the diadem. Duh, it's the diadem. Don't be. If you had the same strategy as Voldemort and wanted to live forever and had to create three horcruxes, what objects in your life are you using to make them? Mm. Can you give me, like, what's the advantages of, like, what's the... It's part of your what's soul. What's the strategy? I part know, but what's soul. the strategy to this then? So it's something that no one would ever think to it's destroy. It's like a memory that you have attached to an object that no one else would recognize that that's part of you. Something small, something valuable, easy to conceal. That's the strategy. Something hard to find too. Yeah. Mm. Something no one would think Andy has this. <laughs> and ant. a- Andy's a, a Cobb salad. <laughs> In Vermont. Okay. Cobb salad in Vermont is my first horcrux. Just like sitting. Yeah, just in like a like a freeze dried one. Oh, you're not gonna do all three? So it lasts forever. No, I, I think okay. I gotta think real quick. Um I would do honestly. This hatchet would be one of them. Because it's precious to you. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it axe. Yeah. I don't know. That's What's good. another one? Uh Another one would be our old man sailor painting in our That's room. really big, but yeah. A thread of it. In, <laughs> yeah, it's be bigger than a thread of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't want you go. I think my engagement ring. I think it seems pretty obvious. The first Bible you ever gave me. Do you uh I sounds weird. Does it? Yeah, because then someone has to destroy it. Yeah, true. Gonna, also, but they're not going to because they wouldn't. So that's a good strategy. Mm. Mm. Oh, and then I would pick my iPod Nano. Nice. You still have it? Yep. Whoa, <laughs> that's my actually really cool. Box. That's a good one. Andrew, you go. I'm interested. Yeah, it'd be the first electric guitar my parents got me, which is kind of big, but definitely some attachment to that thing. Okay, that's that's one. Probably do Paige's wedding ring. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Because it doesn't have to be yours. Nope. It's yeah. actually better that it's elsewhere. Mm. Hmm. I don't. This opens up a whole room of possibilities. <laughs> I would do um, Ada's Spider Man toy. That's mean. She loves that toy. Listen. Well, I'm just saying. That Everyone I'm picking. It. Everyone I'm picking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Golly! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Also, did you guys whoa. notice that these are uh, chopsticks? These Andrew, are really big chopsticks. Andrew said they're cooking chopsticks. Wow! <laughs> Josh, you should do the dreadlock. Oh yes! Oh, your you have, dreadlock. You have a whole <laughs> little box of weird treasures. That's true. I forgot about that. Those are like my Horcruxes. <laughs> <laughs> you had a box full of Horcruxes. I have Horcruxes at home. I, it was like I think the first dread I ever had. Yeah. Um, it's like yay long, about like that thick, and I just have it in a box. It used to be hanging on the dryer in our old building, the dryer in operations. Okay, and people were so it was gross. It was gross, and when, and it was before Josh and I started dating or like even talked to each other. I think, and I'm standing next to the dryer, I'm leaning up on it like this, and I feel a little 
wisp <laughs> no. on my cheek. It's his dreadlock. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> it's just hair. That's amazing. Um, that's so funny. Have we talked about the girl that put her, her hair in your mouth at no. a conference? <laughs> <laughs> and that her was, friends are like. <laughs> yeah, so we were at this conference. Orange and, conference. Yeah. Um, and I would dress up as the cool Carl character. Mm -hmm. and people would take pictures with me. And this lady comes up. And I'm I'm turned around because I just try to do like funny pictures and stuff. And while I'm turned around, she picks up a piece of my hair and then puts it in her mouth. I guess. <laughs> and then everyone's like, oh, that's weird. And you didn't know the whole no. time, right? And then afterwards, like when I turned around, everyone's like this, like, hmm. And, and I'm like, what, what? They show me the picture. I'm like. Ah, uh. <laughs> why do I feel weird? And Lily, you were dating him at the time, and so yeah. you were also there, and so that's awkward. <laughs> weird. Awkward and gross. I don't like that. There were so many times when we were just dating, and um, we would go to conferences, and girls would be standing in line like to go meet you or like go get a shirt or something, and they'd be like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. And I'm like, same right here. Yep. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm saying that with your mind. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> and no one cares. Am Back I off. Uh, Am I invisible? <laughs> I guess I'm invisible. Shut up. <laughs> oh, shucks. Uh, what was your third one? I don't know. Come on, anything. anything. Yeah, it's got to be something cooking related. Do you have a favorite knife? I do. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. First, like, professional level chef's knife I bought. Did Josh ever show you that um, men over 30 will have one identity or have one of these identities? One of these seven hobbies. And one of them was, like, uh, barbecuing but with my Japanese steak knife set. <laughs> <laughs> the other one was, like, hot sauce. Hot sauce. All right, I'm, I'm two for two. World War Two. No, it was um, – let me just read him real quick. Keep talking. Yeah. All right. I think I have a uh, – I'm trying to think of something significant, but you would you would never know by looking at it. And I uh, have this thing at home that when I asked Kelsey out for the very first time, we went to my truck that I always went and picked her up, and we carved in our like the date eight nine ten, and oh. uh, it was on the uh, little plate where the you rolled up the window, mm -hmm. and so we have that little handle still. That's cool. Where we cool. carved it in, so like that, just a little tiny little truck window handle. We I should have no idea. Yeah, Cute. that's a good yeah. one. So like you that's just a really good yeah, one. it's just junk at that point. Yeah, I need to rethink my mine are not very good. You have a love letter from your friend Ethan that is written on paper that he made himself. It wasn't a love letter. It was just a letter. <laughs> you guys love what? each other. So what? What in the world? Yeah, it's not weird. You guys love each other. You don't say a love letter when your bro <laughs> writes a letter to you. No, it's a love letter, dude. That's what is happening? You guys. Yeah, so we weird. love each other, but it's not a love letter. <laughs> it's just a letter. Uh, I mean, do you, do you love him? Yes, I just said I love him, but you, it's not okay. a love and letter. You wrote, you wrote him a letter? It's okay. It's okay, dude. He literally made the paper himself. Like, that's a love we letter. That's an we, act of love. No, everyone shut up. We used to make paper when we lived in Michigan, just for fun. Yeah. And we were, like, just these, like, weird old hipsters just making paper. And he so he used some of that paper to send it to you. That's literally a love letter. It does, it does <laughs> sound love you guys made, was waiting made, for made, made something together, and he <laughs> sent it to you with words of love torn on it. I was yeah. waiting for like how it wasn't gonna be. All right, it was a love <laughs> but letter. That's, that's, <laughs> now I'm not sure how I feel. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> No, just kidding. Ethan's he's he's the best. He's the that's best. So he has a daughter that's eight his age, and she's so cute. Juniper, yeah, a little little younger. Yeah. So but cute. um, all right. The seven hobbies for men over their thirties: uh, becoming obsessed with hot sauce, check smoking meat and cutting it with your Japanese Japanese knife set. Mine's Filipino, but check. Uh, collecting whiskey. It says. Mm. Uh, running half marathon and from all of your problems, uh, lawn care. <laughs> That's, That's Josh. definitely me. <laughs> uh, golf with the boys. No. <laughs> the boys. Cycling or mountain biking. It's not you, but I. But Josh, you're. It's like this. You're a donkey on the edge. Like a you donkey? are. Donkey. Uh -huh. I'm a donkey on the edge. <laughs> you trick. <laughs> I'm a donkey on the edge. <laughs> you're you're two seconds away from becoming a cyclist. Uh, um, and then bonus <laughs> is indoor rock climbing. Oh yeah, indoor rock climbing. Yeah. Lame. Lame. 
like bouldering. Come on, guys. Do some spelunking or something. Mm. <laughs> that's the real sport. Uh, spelunking. Spelunking isn't that like cave diving? Like that's yeah. like the cave. Yeah. You actually like get the windsuits on or whatever. And that's scary. Yeah. So you said Cobb salad. Cobb salad and uh, what did I say? Door Vermont? handle. That's frozen. And then a door handle. I'll do. I'll do. Um, Spatula. I'll do no. I'll do one of my kids' toys. Like, uh, oh. oh no, you did that. I won't do that. I don't like, have to do it. Which no, kids? I'm gonna do. Let's think. What's a good good kitchen utensil that I would could put oh, out there? I, ooh, I, I I I'll take away my kids' toy, and then replace it with that wooden butter knife I made. Nice. That's missing right now. Yeah, I'll um, do my garlic. My, I have a stainless steel garlic mincer that I absolutely <laughs> love. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm wow, sw- I'm switching yeah. up. I'm not doing the knife. I have the dog collar from my first dog that I bought. Aww. That's what I do. Ooh, I do have Dora's tag. Yep, my old dead dog. Do you think a, a basculus <laughs> fang could fit into that? Destroy it. Yeah, I'm trying. So these are like things that have to be destroyed. I'm trying to understand. No, no, no. Only if someone wants you dead. Yeah, so you have to, you have to be able to hide. <laughs> no, because you guys are like, oh, you can't, die. you can't do that. It'd be like, it'd be torn up. I'm like, it doesn't have to be found. <laughs> it's like, it has to be the destroyed. Logic doesn't I don't want to do it just, anymore. Do it anymore. <laughs> it gets like really invested in it. And just starts crying. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Every single question that gets asked, my brain goes into hyperdrive, thinking of like the most literal way to answer the question. <laughs> um, yeah, why wouldn't you? F- why wouldn't you fly out to the middle of the ocean and drop it in the middle of the ocean? Yeah, because he probably has to be able to access it. That's the thing. There's got to be a way. There's got to be some parameters on. Yeah, it. yeah. Because in that in that case, he would just yeah, you would just do throw them all in the ocean. The space, dude. Just float <laughs> it to space. Just fly it literally to space. Wingardium <laughs> Leviosa. Um, good question though. Yeah, good question. You named all your th- all your three, right? Yeah, yeah. I forget them already though. No. Yeah. Very good. Um, do you have a, a band for us? I do. And it is. It is. Um, Lily? Any <laughs> band. Literally any band. Name a song that has to do with storms. Name your favorite singer in the whole entire world. Um, as a teenager. As a teenager? <laughs> but in June. But like only during summer months. Um, that would have been Lana Del Rey, but we did that last week. This is <laughs> Lily's impressive. I'm skills. gonna do the. I'm gonna do Ava Brothers. Everyone at, at home has fallen asleep <laughs> for the past minute. Um, you can wake up. You say the well, who? I don't even. I can't even think of what they would. The Jonas Brothers. Ava Brothers. The Ava Brothers. David. Andrew does have a reel to show us right now. That's good. That's right. I can't All even think of this song. Right. It's um, I would be sad. Oh. And I would be yeah. sad. Because Andrew has a reel. All right. <laughs> that was <laughs> not worth it. <laughs> no. I uh, I sent it to you guys. I think the scariest thing is Mother Nature. So I found a crazy video of some storm chasers. Mother Nature. Mother Nature. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Tell Oops. me when to click it. You sent us individually? What's the audio situation? As a group? On Instagram? Mine's individual. Yeah, mine is too. Oh, That's I thought I did as a group. What's the audio situation? Uh, Yeah, you can do audio. You may do audio. You, got, you always say one, two, three. One, two, one, two three, go. Gotcha. We gotta go eat. Okay. So <gasps> Wait, at, no, I so saw this though. A big night, oh, I did see day. this. So these guys, yeah, there's a tornado coming for them, and they're in a car. And at the top it says, "We got trapped inside a tornado." And oh, they do. Man. I wonder what happens. Golly. <laughs> No, have you have you watched this whole video before? I yeah. have, yeah, and they're it's yeah. Crazy. Skip skip forward, Andy. Or hold, okay. look at look at the at the power line. <gasps> oh, danger! Oh, jeez, golly, so that's, dude! The power line goes down. It's like sparking all around them, and that's what actually traps them there. Oh, jeez, dude, that's gnarly. Uh, oh, that is gnarly, man. Can you get that? electrocuted? Yeah. Oh, big time. 
in you're the car? You're probably, yeah. probably safe from in the car. Oh, yeah, big listen. time. <laughs> oh, yeah, big listen, time. Listen, this has big been time. That happens to me twice a week. Dude, that car after, and then he's just like sitting with mud on his face, crying at the end. Oh, my gosh, crying so hard. You'd be, you'd be kissing the ground, dude. The screaming, though, That's, when it's yeah. on, when the guy is screaming, you're like. What was the one? Remember the one I showed you? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> it was another guy. It's terrifying situation, but he got caught in a tornado, too. <laughs> <laughs> he's asking for him. This truck was just going. <laughs> And his like window blew out, and he's just going, "Help me! <laughs> help me!" <laughs> and it's like, "Who's gonna help you, yeah, dude? You just gotta write it out, man." I, it's so <laughs> crazy that you're laughing at that. I know. But he's just yelling, "Help me!" And <laughs> you, you, you show me the same thing too, and you're like, <laughs> "You're like, it's so funny, right?" And I'm like, "No, it's really sad." It's, I mean, he's fine. He lived. Yeah, yeah true. If he died, then I wouldn't be laughing, but like, <laughs> yeah. he was completely fine. Yeah, 100%. He don't help me. No one's going to help you. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. No one can help you. Oh, someone needs my help. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be like, if those guys, well, you know, one of those guys peed his pants in that truck. Oh, yeah. And he will be made fun of for it because yeah. everything's fine. Everything's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Oh. Dude, yeah. tornadoes are scary, man. Yeah. We luckily weren't in town whenever the Joplin one came through. Yeah. Uh, but golly, dude, 160 people gone. Yeah. And just like no preparation. At, like just no warning at all except for 10 minutes. It's just like, man, gone, it's dude. terrible. I it's encountered wild. my first real one in Texas. We were at the mall with Paige hanging out around Dallas. And then like, you know, all the warnings start going off. And I'm used to water spouts here in Florida on the coast, which are basically nothing. So I'm treating it like that. And everybody else is freaking out. The mall we're in actually forces everybody into a corridor it's like, this is weird. Long story short, we're on the way home, and there are literally cars that have been, like, thrown all over the highway. Scary. This thing, like, OP. It came, like, this close, and my mindset was, like, whatever. And then yeah. I realized That's we probably good, that though. Because yeah. you probably would have panicked. Paige, like, I was Paige's rock because she was, yeah. like, yeah. freaking it, out. I was like, it's fine. Yeah. It's scary because I remember before I came down here, there was a time I was, I was, like, a month away from moving down here, and I was texting, and you were like, you ready to move? And then I was... We were lived on top of a hill, and we were just having a tornado wipe through the city real quick, and had my trampoline fly like a hundred feet in the air. I was like, "Yeah, I think I'm ready to come down to yeah, let's Florida." Get yeah, cool. Let's get, let's get away yeah, from that. How you doing? What are you doing right now? <laughs> Can I come now? Can I come more? It's funny. It's like no matter where you move, though, in the world, there's there's always something. Yeah, there's I, Florida has we got hurricanes. Yeah, then yeah. you go Montana. It's like you get like freezing cold weather all of the time. Yeah, like yeah. like those blizzards that will just like. Ruin your life. Yeah, you'll be like stuck indoors <laughs> yes. and like lose electricity. Grizzly bears. Grizzly bears. What's the what's the safest place in the world to live? Uh, Mantucket. <laughs> Mantucket, baby. It's right up here. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's my safe. Sunny and seventy five. Year uh, around. The safest place to live. Man, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Georgia, that, right? The Georgia. I mean, I don't no, know. Honestly, Vermont probably. No. Probably Georgia. In the world or in the U.S.? U.S. Where you, world, what's your guesses? Crime rate's pretty high in Georgia. Where are you going to Georgia? I'm talking about the sticks. Going down a dirt road in the middle of nowhere in Georgia. Maybe North Carolina, but not the coast. Statistically, yeah. the safest place is Nashua, New Hampshire. What? But oh. if you think... you're <laughs> What? But, well, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. New Hampshire... <laughs> Um, I, I believe that well, obviously it's a true statistic, but in reality, the safest place is the place we don't know yet. Yeah, is because there's bunkers all around this country. It's like so we don't really know what the safest place is. Mm. Um, I bet there's people that would Nevada. have some pretty good debates though. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. quality of life, right? Right. We're not folks? talking about quality of life. We're talking about the safest place. What about two different topics? Hey, I may not have my <laughs> legs, but at least I'm sleeping at night, you know, yeah. <laughs> with a locked door. Yeah. That just implied that you have to give up safety for quality. Mm. Yeah, because you think of like Indonesia and stuff. Beautiful place to live. But tsunamis. Tsunamis. When's the last Did you time? say legs or leg? legs? Legs. Legs. I'm assuming I lose limbs <laughs> and, and during this apocalypse, but at least I'll be safe. <laughs> I'm climbing over the. Oh, it's an apocalypse. Fence. Yeah, I'm assuming. Like, no, when all things <laughs> no. go crazy, 
like the, well, like, we were talking about like natural disaster stuff. I thought. Yeah, I'm talking about the safest place. I guess I, I went down a different road. I was. Going <laughs> to, I, I'm 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 dooms, doomsday prepping over I here. I may not have my legs, but I'm safe. <laughs> I was All like, right. Wait, how did we get here? I don't know what that does. Uh, has to do with tsunamis, but sure. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> but speaking of natural disasters, everyone, listen. Have you heard of the alien ruins in China? No. There's this place, and it's called. Jeez. <laughs> Just pronounce it, you got <laughs> um, Mount uh, Beigong. Okay. Ba- Beigong. Mount I'm gonna, Beigong. I'm going to stick with that. Mount Beigong. Yeah. Cool. B A I G O N G. That I- was his name, though. Beigong. Mount Beigong. And it's in. <laughs> I'm not going to even gonna pronounce. That, that, that was a good joke, right? <laughs> what did you say? I said, and that was his name, though. <laughs> that's good yeah. okay sorry I was, like, I was like uh, there's gonna be at least one commenter that's gonna hear it so it'll be fine <laughs> that's funny <laughs> that's good um but yeah it's in uh this ter- or this part of china that's so remote remote and uh queen chang queen oh golly <laughs> you guys i'm sorry q i n g h a i king king kai I'm yeah, a, just do, I'm a do, visual yeah. learner. Just do, just do, yeah, just, do, just do one for the... Okay, Guy, China. Boom. Hey, that sounds um, good. I liked it. But this guy, this archaeologist from China, his name is Bei Yu. Um, that's correct, because I remember listening to his name. Yeah, uh, exactly. Also, I originally heard about this on the Y Files, and then I went down the rabbit trail and read the actual article from Bei Yu. Nice. Um, but he's an archaeologist uh, from that region, and he... Went to this place in 1996 and was dumbfounded at what he saw. Because this place is, like, so remo- remote. Like, no one goes to this place because it's, like, desolate and desert. Um, but it's right next to these two lakes. And they call them the Sister Lakes or the Sweetheart Lakes. That's what they call them. Okay. And one lake is salt water and one lake is fresh water right next to each other. Super weird. Okay. But he said, um, we came there. And he said, there are no signs of life at all in the wide lake and the sharp mountains are also lifeless as if they have experienced a massive fire. It seems that the scenery here did not originate from earth, but from another planet in outer space. Mm. Um, And then he saw this mountain that was like triangular shape. Turns out it's man-made. What? And he goes to the cave entrance, which has a triangle door or an opening. Illuminati. And he goes in and he discovers around this pyramid thing and inside this pyramid, there's these iron pipes that are just like everywhere. How old is this thing? He's saying he guesses, what do you say? Um, He guessed like 150,000 years old. Steel pipes? Iron pipes. And he said they, when he first got there, he measured some of them and some of them had the diameter of 18 inches. Big. And then some of them had went as small as the diameter of a grain of rice. What? An iron pipe that was hollowed through the like a grain Why? of rice Why? size. Also, how was that possible at that time? Listen. And then he discovered another set of pipes that a full-grown human could walk through. What? And they would lead down to the lake. And um, so they tested the metal on these pipes. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and no. And 8% of the material of these pipes you cannot find on our periodic table. It possesses like an element. An element that does not exist on Earth or has not been discovered yet. Can I chuck a little theory in here? Sure. So he said that like the, I don't know. What if this area has suffered and is regrowing from like nuclear winter or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, it could be. He says what he observed, he says it looks like a basically like a space station because this part of China, the air is so thin and like um, there's like no moisture that like at nighttime, it's like one of the best places in China to like observe the stars and stuff. Wow, cool. But they also tested some of the pipes. Was that? The pipes? Oh, Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Wow. Yeah. So they tested one of the pipes and they found... Basically, I forget the technical term for it, but it's quicklime. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of quicklime. No, no. But it is a conductor of energy. So basically, 
um, the Wi Fi guy said this, but if you pour one liter of water and combine it with seven pounds of quick, quick lime, it generates 3.5 million megajoules, which is the same amount of energy or it's equivalent to a gallon of gas. Wow. And so some of these pipes were filled with it and they would lead down to the lake. And so it's almost like this quick lime stuff in the pipes with the lake, it was producing energy <gasps> to the pyramid. Oh and my goodness. A lot of similarities. And there's no answers to this? Like there's No. And he's this is what he's saying. It's so remote and so hard to get to and outside foreigners are not allowed to go into this region of China without a permit. And it's apparently so it's really hard to get a permit. Completely restricted. Yeah. Golly. Not completely. It's just like it's really, really difficult to get out there. Yeah. Um, but he said the similarities between this pyramid, there's so many similarities that match up with the pyramids in Egypt. Oh, man. And of it being like, because remember the theory we talked about the pyramids basically being able to harness and distribute energy or yeah. electricity? Yeah. This thing is set up the exact same way to where it's by a body of water. The pyramids are built over um, water. Like, so there's water like way down below the pyramids or there was. And um, Tesla designed his Tesla tower the exact same way that the pyramids would have been built in this pyramid with free energy. So it's like harnessing energy from the atmosphere. And there's no way like there's something weird to that because like how does it all set up so different, different cultures, thousands of miles apart. Yeah. Oh, that's creepy, dude. That's something, I'm telling you, it's that's like, a, it goes back. It's all connecting. That's an eerie place with, to be. I can't imagine like just standing like, there. That'd yeah. be, oof, that'd be scary, dude. But uh, quick lime too. Once the water evaporates, because they show a video of it, but like when you pour water into quick lime, it's like, well, it's like just mm -hmm. giving off some like heat. Yeah. And then when the water evaporates, the quick lime goes back to its original state. So it's like a reusable form of it, energy. Yes. And so. But it's also weird that there's a salt water lake mm -hmm. and then a fresh water That's lake. That's so weird. Like, how does that happen right naturally? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And so it's like, because you use salt water for different reactions. Yo. They, like chemical reactions. They need to put on a hazmat swimsuit if such a thing exists. Yeah. And they need to go dive those lakes and see if it's actually just a big pool. Yeah. There's concrete on the bottom of it. Or there's something down there. Yeah. <laughs> but there's also rocks around this whole pyramid thing that are like standing up like super weird and yeah. like it looks so unnatural. And that's why he was saying that looking at it and observing it, it looks like something not of this world. Yeah. Um, that's yeah, creepy. that's so weird. Yeah. That's such an eerie thing to think about. Just like how how old it is, how ancient it is, and the fact that there might have been a different, just like you said, a different reset or yeah. a nuclear winter or something Well, it like made that. me think of, I mean, just like we talked about it. It's, it's becoming part of every podcast. No, we need to call it Nephilim or butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. But I mean, the fallen angels, dude, like yeah. of like them teaching this technology and you read of the stories from Plato talking about um, Atlantis and their technology that they possessed and ancient, not even ancient Egyptians, but like before the Egyptians with like the pyramids and the Sphinx. And like, then you go over to South America and then to Wales and like, just all these different places to where it's like there's a continuity yeah. or a, um, yeah, that's yeah, right. Like a recurring theme. Yeah. And like, of just like around the entire world. Yeah. And it's just like, it's weird. Mm -hmm. And the, it's, yeah, right. Yeah. The only way that we can rationalize that happening in every culture would be, I guess there's like three different avenues. Like one of them would be, they're all being taught the same thing by one group of people. Or they have the ability to travel and intermingle in a way that we don't see in our history books. Yeah. Or three, pyramids are just a thing in human beings' minds. They're like, we got to make it triangular and, like, tall. Yeah. Which I don't see that happening. Yeah, I don't either. There's, there's too much. And both one and two are so intriguing because mm -hmm. it's like, what do we not know? <clears throat> but even with, like... Because, I mean, really, like in the vision of Ezekiel, where it talks about the angels coming to and fro from earth uh -huh. and that they were traveling, it said, in a wheel within a wheel, and wherever the wheel went, the angel went. And I'm like, they didn't know what how to describe a flying saucer or a UFO, mm -hmm. you know? And it talked about the rims of these wheels that looked like that had eyes on it. I'm like, lights. lights. Yeah. And, you know, oh, I don't know, man. Yeah. And it's like, so like... Could this be a place where these fallen angels landed their stuff? Yeah. 
Because I mean, there's like there's higher or the like there's like um, like stone carvings in like uh like the Mayans and Aztecs where it looks like these dudes are in like a spaceship, bro. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. And thinking about too, what like their strategy would be, like why would fallen angels want to equip man with these resources and this knowledge? And it's because that's extremely displeasing to the Lord. Like because also they're surviving like outside yeah. of outside of their heavenly realm now. So yeah. it's like so now they're doing whatever they want. But they yeah. also want to be treated as gods. Yeah. You yeah. know, like they're because of their immense power and, and, and with knowledge. That, yeah, with that knowledge it comes power. Yeah. And then yeah, there's been people that speculate that these uh Nephilim and fallen angels, that's where you get like Greek mythology and like all this mm-hmm. what everything that we have is from derived from fallen angels. Yeah. What I if, don't know. What but if that, hey what if that bacteria is Nephilim bacteria? Uh oh. Uh oh. And that's what's keeping them immortal. Whoa. That guy's <laughs> like, man, I really want to build a pyramid right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Something, <laughs> something like, inside of like me. The Santa Claus with Tim Allen, where he wakes up with a beard, but every morning he wakes up, he's like five inches taller. Five inches taller. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, he's really good at keeping like house plants and stuff like that. Yeah. I have like way more stuff. I have a kind of a thing that has to do with a lake that's kind of creepy. Speaking of lakes. Okay. This can be our last thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's called the Lake Neos Disaster, or Nios. I don't know how you pronounce it. N-Y-O-S. Yeah. Okay, this happened. Let me check the year. This happened a long time ago, but imagine the scary feeling of you're in this tiny little village, right? <laughs> okay. Tiny little village. Got you it. wake up and you walk outside, and it's quiet. Everyone that used to be walking around, bustling around in the morning is not there. Okay. Goes and knock on the neighbor's door. No one's answering. Peeks in the house. Where is this? People are dead. Whoa. <gasps> Sorry. I'm cutting off your story flow. No, you're good. But where was this? I'll, uh, I have it right here. I just want to double check. I didn't want to keep looking back. Lake here. Neos? Lake Neos disaster. It's absolutely scary. Um, I totally ruined your flow. I'm no, you're so good. sorry. No, you're good. Uh, Good job. I said I'm sorry. Why are you attacking me still? (laughs) Let me just Google it. It's okay. Just continue the story. Andrew can Google it while you're... What are we trying to answer? Where is Lake Neos? Cameroon? Where's Cameroon at? Wherever Cameroon's at. So this is on August 21st, 1986. This guy goes around and he's he's noticing... A lot of people are missing. A lot of people are not where they should be. So they're going around. Police are from other counties are heading over to this city. 1,700 people just mysteriously dead in this tiny town. All of the livestock dead. What? All because of a nearby lake. And it took them a while to find out why. Because this uh, lake... I'm going to read this. Periodically belches a cloud of invisible carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide gas that suffocates everything within a 16 mile radius. <gasps> oh, Literally my worst fear. And so all of these people died and their livestock and people didn't know for months, I believe like wow. the true reason behind it. And, uh, what it is, it's just absolutely terrifying thinking about it because it, belches this diffuse carbon dioxide and it's a cloud that shot up at 60 miles an hour whoa and then it's heavier than air so it comes down and covers this city killing 1700 people why did oh that guy goodness. live did he have like sleep apnea or something I, i'm not i'm not sure what it was i because i don't I, I think maybe part of it was ventilation being outside and stuff like that mm-hmm. i'm not sure but wild story and Crazy. i can't like ta- like that's a true horror movie waking yes. up and just seeing 1700 people of you and people in your town dead yo that's wild yeah super scary so i want to know more about it but golly it's just i saw my red and i was like this is so scary hey you know something that's an argument to get these alarms in our house josh won't let me get carbon monoxide detectors because we don't have gas in our house at all and he's like there's nothing that would put off carbon monoxide what about the lake (laughs) yeah what about the lake you're right next to a lake dude you have no idea when that's gonna think open up for a belch yeah all right and then all your livestock dead yep i am you can get (laughs) them yeah you know what book them Fuck them, honey. We're That's doing creepy. It, right? So creepy. Yeah. It's going to be so funny cutting all these reels up. Yeah, when and I'm just like, they're like, yeah. are we going to just pretend this guy's not dressed up? And <laughs> I'm going to be like, whoa. Hodgepodge. <laughs> Voldemort. It literally uh, is like paper mache. There's toilet paper on this. There's 
uh, tape and everything. I'm going to save this stuff. I'm sorry, guys, who aren't part of the Patreon, but maybe you should join it because I'm going to save the rest of the stuff I have for half episode. I got some spooky stuff, too. <gasps> got some Halloween so guys, stuff. Guys, if you want to hear the spooky stuff and spooky. all the other stuff, maybe go check out our Patreon for more content. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be worth it, I promise. All right. Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween. This was a good one. Happy Halloween. I can't breathe. Um. Expecto Patrona! Yeah! Love you guys. Oh, wait. Make sure to review our stuff. Yeah. Like, and share, tell a friend about the podcast. Five stars everywhere. Hey, we're trying to get to a million before the end of the year. Yes. Million subscribers on YouTube. We're at like over 700,000. Yeah, in this seven, time, seven fifty. In this time last year, we were around eighty thousand. Yeah. So you guys are killing it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. If you're watching this, please subscribe. Go tell your friends to subscribe. Every person watching this, go tell ten people. Go tell your favorite Harry Potter nerd. Yeah. About our podcast. Oh yeah, yeah they're gonna love this. Yeah. We, do we look like a bunch of just cosplayers? Probably not That's very. Okay. <laughs> Minimal effort, <laughs> yeah. except you yeah. did all the effort. <laughs> Just from up here. Johnny Dogs. <laughs> Johnny Dogs. All right. Uh, love you guys. I love you. Bye. Bye. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninjas out there. <laughs> Just uh, use that sound bite like Complex does at the end of the podcast. I make my move, the queen will take me. Take me, take me, take me. Then you're free to check the king. No. Ron, no! no. What is this? He's going to sacrifice himself. No, you can't! That must be another way! I want to stop the state and get that stone on the